He's grilled berry hepis pow. It's March the 1st, and this is the 23rd of 53 consecutive five mile walks from the Gresford Memorial to the Miner's Rescue and back again. Today's film returns to the Disaster Relief Fund and asks the question, how was the money spent? The Gresford Colliery Disaster Relief Fund report of 1945 outlines how money from the fund had been spent up until the end of that year. It's essentially a list of figures with some explanatory notes and it's absolutely fascinating. Fascinating in that it offers compelling insights into what life was like in the decade after the disaster to the dependents. We already know that £33 million was raised for the relief fund. That's in today's money and all of the figures quoted in this film are too. The monies have been converted using the Bank of England inflation calculator. Before looking at the allocation of funds, here's some broader information about the fund. Allegedly, King George V was the first contributor with a £3,000 donation. There were 616 beneficiaries in total, 166 widows, 241 children and 209 other dependents. Should a widow marry again, she would receive a weekly allowance for six months after remarriage. If she were to become a widow again, she could reapply to the fund. One woman had been readmitted by 1945. Due to the number of widows under 30, it was made clear from the beginning that relief would be provided for 70 or more years, essentially as long as any widow needed it. 15 orphan children were taken in by foster parents. No dependent child was ever brought before the juvenile courts and charged in any shape or form. Of the 242 child dependents, 78 went into higher education, 68 boys and girls received equipment grants, 41 boys and girls joined the forces, with five making the ultimate sacrifice, 25 boys went into apprenticeships, two graduated from university, one with a master's degree, and one deaf and non-verbal child was sent to specialist school. So, how was the £33 million spent? So I'm uh, rudely interrupting the video. Uh, you'll have noticed from the last shot that I was in the, uh, in the art room at the rescue centre and uh, went to the cafe for a coffee. It's the only chance I get to come down uh, half days on Friday, so uh, the only chance to really pop my head in, see what's going on. And I bumped into uh, an old school friend I'd not seen for God, 35 years. Uh, lovely lad, and it was lovely to see his dad as well. And he, I know he was on Twitter, so uh, if you're watching, it was great to catch up catch up on 35 years of life in, in half an hour uh, and then on the way out they're all coming back from the uh, meeting royalty um, it's not changed them though it's not it's really not changed them um, from the Gresford Memorial Prince William was down there uh, so I met Colin from uh, Wrexham Sport and Music uh, George was coming back in Scoop from the Declan Swans I had a chat with them all, was able to meet them. Uh, so Stuart, uh, one of the lads who goes regularly and produced some amazing artwork this week. And uh, I don't know the answer to this question, what, you know, what is community spirit? I can't articulate it, it's too deep for me, but I know where to find it. And it's in that place there. So uh, yeah, just, a, just, just special. That's what I wanted to say. Just a really, really special community place. And uh, I couldn't be more proud to be doing this uh, fundraising for them. That's it. So how was the 33 million pounds allocated? By the end of 1945, 10 million pounds, by far the largest sum spent, had been given for weekly allowances and compassionate grants. 2.6 million of which went to unemployed miners including £237,000 for replacing lost tools. £340,000 
went to old age pensioners and rescue men. £330,000 was spent on education and apprenticeships. £250,000 for medical fees, including dentures and glasses. £160,000 on mourning. £88,000 on marriage grants. £60,000 on funeral grants. £30,000 in home help grants for dependents and able to live independently. £10,000 on railway fares to dependents invited to holiday homes. £3,000 on maternity. £3,000 on sundry unclassified grants. So to finish off today, and I feel a little bit guilty, a little bit nosy for, for asking these questions in relation to what the focus has been today, but there's more questions than answers. What were those holidays away like? What, what was the view? What is mourning? Funeral grants had a separate line. £160,000 spent on mourning. What became of the twice widowed woman who got readmitted to the fund again? What became of the 15 orphan children? And what became of everyone? So many stories. Today's walk was dedicated to Albert E. Jones, Azariah Jones, Cyril Jones, Daniel Jones, and David L. Jones. And today's song is In My Life by the Beatles.